the year is 1996, and it's five years after the dissolution of the Soviet Union and the official end of the Cold War. But veteran Cold War spies on both sides of the Iron Curtain have started dying off under mysterious circumstances. So the elements within the FSB uh, and the CIA get together in secret to discuss this new threat and figure out what to do about it, how to counter it. And they decide to create a task force called the Kingbridge Executive, which is tasked with tracking down who's behind these murders and putting a stop to them. Unfortunately, the people who meet here, they don't actually have a mandate to create such a task force. And if they took it up the chain of command, it would be shut down immediately, because even though the Cold War is officially over, um, you know, the FSB and the CIA are still very much the competition, right? Um, so they create this organization in complete secrecy. And as a result, it's kind of underfunded, and the people assigned to it are whoever could be spared from both of the organizations, whoever nobody would notice if they kind of went missing to go work on something really secret. So um, that's kind of the premise of the game. So the main thing that makes Clandestine unique, of course, is the asymmetrical gameplay, the asymmetrical co-op, the dynamic between the two players. Because essentially, when you're playing with a friend, you're playing two completely different games. One player is playing a stealth game, and the other player is playing a hacking kind of puzzle game almost. Of course, we're, we're trying to make sure that the hacking game still plays like a stealth game, still has stealth elements. So as you're hacking your way through the network, gradually gaining control over the, all the level infrastructure, um, the admins have a presence on the network as well. They're moving around, doing routine work. And you want to be careful not to alert them, not to make them too suspicious of you, because then they'll track you down and they'll start tracing your connections and cutting off the things you've hacked and you'll need to actually, you know, cut, cut the connection yourself to prevent them from finding you and shutting you off the network. So, even though these two players are playing two very different games, we are very focused on making sure that both it feels like a stealth game in either case, and second, uh, you're working very closely together. We want to make sure that you're always communicating and that it always feels like you're working towards the same thing. You're solving the same immediate situation, even though you're doing it in vastly different ways. Yeah.